The last 16 of the 2016 UK Snooker Championships are here and every shot from here on in from the Barbican in York is live on Eurosport 1 and 2. Not a break skipped, not a foul missed, not a moment of glory or heartbreak delayed. And these two matchups, the starters, are full of stories. Ronnie O'Sullivan versus Wales' Matthew Stevens, who makes a welcome return to the sharp end of one of Snooker's biggest tournaments. And Sean Murphy really needs to find his next gear, or China's Zhou Yulong could have an afternoon to remember. So it's all about O'Sullivan's and Murphy's, which just happen to be two of my favourite bars in Cork. And drinking in the snooker today, Jimmy White and Neil Foles. So much to get into today. Ronnie's going to be our featured game, Jimmy. But how nice is it to see Matthew Stevens playing this type of snooker? Yeah, it's good for Matthew Stevens. He beat Joe Perry, a good result. You know, he's not had too many good results. He seems to win his first matches and gets beats in his second rounds. But he's won... The UK Championship, he's won the Masters, he's been in two finals, been in front. Uh, Neil will tell you, you know, he's a big-time player, so mm. obviously he's got to play at top of his game today to beat O'Sullivan. And as is Sean Murphy, a big-time player, Neil, but there is real feeling today that he needs to up his game and find that form that he had a few months ago, or we could have a really big upset today. Yeah, because with Sean Murphy, he's always very positive, very upbeat. But that handshake at the end of his match against Dominic, there was an apology rather than a handshake. And when you see someone win, almost embarrassed, that's never a good sign for the next round, even though it's a win. It didn't feel like one for even someone uh, who's usually so forthright and up with his opinions as him. We started yesterday's show with a happy anniversary for Jimmy. Happy anniversary to you today, Neil. I did hear it. 30 years ago, I got absolutely annihilated by um, Steve Davis. Uh, in the final of the UK Championship at 1986, yeah. So uh, it's nice to be reminded of that. Two days it was over then, but um, I did. Well, I beat this man along the way, actually. I didn't did beat him very often. Yeah. What's going he doesn't remember the 80s, but trust get, me, I'll beat him. You get your own curry tonight. <laughs> <laughs> right, we remember the last 16, um, and we've, we've enjoyed the tournament so far. Brilliant. But, but you know what? Um, this is when we start buzzing. We wake up in the morning, we, we share a room, the three of us, and we wake up just buzzing. <laughs> Here's what we got. Highfield Williams, Stevens O'Sullivan, Jones Gilbert, Foo Lines, Brissell Maguire. I want to see every one of these. Yu Long against Murphy, which is in Eurosport 2 in just about five minutes. Higgins Allen and Zhang Anda against the world number one, Mark Selby. I mean, pick me the story, Neil Foles, that intrigues you most so far. There's two stories for me. One, we've got the class of 92 still going strong. Uh, Sullivan, uh, Williams, Higgins, three of the greatest players, all turn pro at the same time. The younger brigade, everyone's saying, where are the young players? Well, Zhou Yulong is coming through from China. From Belgium, Luca Brussel is, is definitely on the up. And also Oliver Lyons is at last coming good. So young and old together. If, if Karen Wilson is watching this, apologies, mate, you're still my man. But uh, Ollie Lyons is becoming my new snooker crush, and it's how he conducts himself, how he looks. He's got real style about him, and finally coming of age, Jimmy. Yeah, you know, to um, to beat Judd Trump and then to go on the next day and beat Jimmy Robertson 6-0... I liked what he said in his interview that his dad and his manager, Django, have kept him grounded. And he, and he is, you know, been tipped as one of the stars of the future and he hasn't produced really. So, you know, uh, he's got a really good chance today as well. So much to get into in Eurosport and all live, don't forget, with us this afternoon, this evening, tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Ronnie O'Sullivan then, he's had a lot to say, hasn't he, over the last 24 hours. We thought we'd just stick to the snooker as he caught up uh, for a cuppa with Matt Smith. Have you adapted the way you deal with the week of a tournament compared to maybe a few years ago? I always try to make the tournaments, um, I always think preparing is the hard bit, which is done away from the tournaments. And when you come to tournaments, you just, just relax and let it happen. And if it's going to happen, great. But the best way that I get the best out of myself is just trying to not find my game so I don't really spend much time on a practice table. Um, I try and relax, I try and, you know, just take it easy, treat it like a holiday really. Mm. And uh, the snooker become bonus and just trying to have faith in what the work that you put in comes out when it really matters. See, I get the impression that y your gaze almost needs to be anywhere but on the table until it has to be. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's just about having faith in, in you know, y your game comes right at the right time and I don't believe that if you do everything correct leading up to that, that 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 necessarily means that you're going to win that match. Mm. You know, I've played some of my best snooker when I've turned up late, underprepared, because you, then the expectation levels is not there to kind of do well, and then you end up playing a great match, you think, well, you know, why is that? Well, something's going right, isn't it? Because you've only lost one frame in the first three matches, so... Yeah, yeah, like and sometimes that's not the greatest of things. Sometimes you think um, maybe it would have been better to, you know, add a couple of more closer matches. Um, 
you can't go out there and think, you know, I want a close match. You've got to go out there and play the balls as they lie. And, um, and just, you know, just approach every match as if, you know, every ball's important. You might get a scrap. It's Matthew Stevens or Joe Perry. So, yeah, it's going to be, you know, another tough, you know, hopefully a tough match. Hopefully I'm able to compete. And, and, but that's always the, the fear sometimes that you think, you know, if you go in there and get blown away and you think, well, I've won three matches easy and now I've been blown away myself. And you think, well, how does that work out? But that's just the nature of the sport. And um, anyone's capable of doing it to each other. So, you know, um, I think just being in the event at this stage is, is a great thing and you just have to, you know, um, you know, just try your best. That's all you can do. Well, Ronnie gets judged by the very highest of standards due to his 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 other worldly natural ability. But even judging him by those standards, Jimmy, it's an A plus so far, isn't it? This this tournament. Yeah, he's played he's played solid stuff. He's won so many games in one visit. This shot is me and Neil. This is our favourite shot of the tournament. It doesn't look that great, but he's pinched half the pocket. Perfect Q action to get through the ball. Perfect tournament. This is another pure Q in shot. Right through to the blue. One. Yeah, that was a good shot. I mean, this was also a sign of how well he's queuing. This is a different shot. This is not really a shot you associate with Ronnie that much. Very straight queuing, power. One. It's usually touch and elegance that we like from him and the ability to play flare shots like this one we're seeing there, you know, and he's been absolutely all over all three opponents so far. Uh, Tony Drago rang you after that first shot of that, um, which, as you say, for the snooker player is amazing. That, uh, and you always do your phone calls on speakerphone, by the way, so we get the... Was he saying that if he did that shot once in his life, he'd be happy? Yeah, he... Tony's... Um, he's, not, he's not on the tour. He's going to be back on the tour next year, hopefully. And um, he was watching that shot, and he said to his friends, you know, he'd play that shot 20 times, he'd get it three times. Yeah. It was a really great shot. It doesn't look that great, but it's... Uh, Anyone who plays snooker should know how hard that is. Well, listen, we really want to devote as much time as we can as well to his opponent, uh, which, of course, is Matthew Stevens. I mean, he's twice a world finalist. He is a master. He is a UK champion, but has kind of been forgotten about. Could this be the unlikely story of this tournament? He's going to have to get past Ronnie first. Listen, it's going to, it's going to, be, a, it's going to be a tough task, but, um, you know, I enjoy playing you know, against the big players, you know, over the years, and... Uh, you know, it's just going to be mounting the climb the way Ronnie's been playing, but, you know, he is human. You know, if I can get off to a good start and put him under a bit of pressure, then who knows? Yeah, indeed. And actually, it was only last year, wasn't it, at the Welsh Open, that you, you did get the better of him, so there's a recent memory to call upon if, if that's how it works for you. It doesn't really matter. You know, it was, it's a different game tomorrow. You know, we've had, you know, lots of battles over the years. Like you said, you know, he's come on top most of the time, but, uh, you know, I got to enjoy it and give him a best shot. And sometimes for players like you, you've had real high points in your career, playing against the big names can bring out the best in you, can't it? It can, it can kind of draw something out of you, can't it? Yeah, it normally does, you know, especially in the UK Championships. You know, I've, I've won it once and reached two other finals, so hopefully I can make it my fourth final this year and it's going to be difficult against Ronnie, but um, I'll just go there and enjoy it. I wish you luck. Thank you, Matt. Cheers. Thanks, bud. Right, well, let's look at the head-to-head -head, uh, between them. Uh, some massive clashes, by the way, at the World Championships in 2015. Ronnie, a, a safe winner there. Back again in the biggest of them all, and what a golden year that was, 2012. Um, Quarterfinals of German Masters, uh, Welsh Open, I think, last time they played. That was a close affair, and that, I think that is probably the key, if you're looking a real ray of light from Matthew Stevens, is that this isn't the 17, this isn't the 13, this is first to six. Yeah, I mean, not too many people have got positive records against O'Sullivan anyway, and, you know, just to say what Matthew Stevens is, he is a fantastic snooker player. I mean, I was speaking with Jimmy a few minutes ago, everyone speaks about the time he was 14-8 up and lost to Hendry in the World Final. This guy was 12-6 up and 10-6 up in his two World Finals against Mark Williams uh, and against Sean Murphy. So how he's never won a world title, I don't know. OK, now that's a long time ago. He's won the Masters, he lost in two UK finals, but he's won this tournament as well. He is a top player who has been really quiet for a long time, for a number of reasons, I think. So the busiest s snooker schedule in maybe ever in terms of the amount of tournaments this year. Last time we were in Belfast, we saw Mark King win it. Win it. We saw Anthony Hamilton get to the semi-finals. Is the more snooker actually in some ways favouring, Jimmy, these seasoned professionals, the, the veterans? Well, it hasn't worked for me yet, but um, <laughs> I, think, I think, you know, you're getting the class acts coming through, you know, and because they're playing, each, they're playing every week. With the youngsters, 
when they're getting beat, they're learning, and you know they're going on to the next tournament. With the uh, older sort of generation, they're realising that you know the snooker out there is only um, they can't beat like top players, but they can still produce and perform a, a good standard. And they've got every week they're having another match, mm. so it sort of brings their confidence back. And there's a beautiful Welsh story here as well. Actually, Randy just missed out in the last frame decider against Mark Allen to make it four. But I even you, Busby, are going to have to look at the record books this afternoon to find out when there was three Welshmen in the last 16 of the UK Championship. Yeah, I mean, look, the, the probably happened a few times, but we can't think of it without looking through the records on Q Tracker because um, there's been some great players in the past. You know, Darren Morgan's retired now. He was a leading mm. Welsh player. The Griff, who we love, you know, he's one of the world, uh, world's great players as well. So it's great to see. It's, it's like all other sports, you know, the West Indies have got to be go great at cricket. Mm. In snooker, you want the Welsh to be good because they've always played it well. Yeah, Jimmy Jones and, and Mark Williams, of course, the other two yes. to get through yesterday. I'm sure it helps because they're all tight and I bet you they all buzz off e each other. Uh, that might also be the case of the Chinese players that are still left in this tournament. And in Eurosport too, Sean Murphy almost apologised for his last frame when against Dominic Dale yesterday today on Eurosport. We know he can deliver, but if he doesn't, he's in danger today. Yeah, this Yu Long, you know, he's improving every month, and um, he beat Sean Murphy, as Neil said, last year. So he'd be up for this match. He'd have watched that game yesterday, and Murphy wasn't at his best. And, uh, you know, got to be honest, if Murphy plays like that, you've got to fancy this Yu Long can beat him. OK, well, the players are in the tunnel. They're ready to walk into the York in Barbican. And already underway is the man with the biggest lungs in sport, Rob Walker. There's the first player coming out now.